Hey guys, Jay, Florida Suburban Dad. Well, the last video I was in the Keys. Had a great time, spent a whole week there with the family. First time really going during spring break and all that stuff. So it was a little more crowded than we're used to, but still a blast. Um, everything from, we stayed in Marathon and everything down to Key West and all the way back up to Key Largo. We we're back and forth, of course, hitting all the good eateries. Went, you know, in between the prime times and everything. Helicopter tours, come down here and spend a bunch of money. You can ride around a rotocopter here. But the big reason I want to come in and see you guys, because the thing is about the Keys that I love so much, one, besides the atmosphere and everything, is two, the food. And there, I got a couple other things going on here I thought you guys might want to take a peek at. One, that and the weather is just gorgeous in Florida. Sunny, nice. Hope everyone out there is doing really well. All the craziness. There's a lot of bullshit out there, so please don't chase it. It'll make you guys miserable. But you guys know I have a thing for grills all over the place. And as you can see here, I got the Kamado going with the spatchcock chicken going on that. And then you guys, of course, have seen the Traeger. And on here, we got beef short ribs. And after that, there's a grill that basically, I don't know how I bumped into it or saw it on social media, on Instagram or something like that. Basically, some cooks and some guys over in Montana that do a lot of cooking for a lot of the hunting guides and stuff like that came up last year. It was a startup uh, last spring and of course COVID hit and stuff and reading into the story and seeing it and everything i definitely wanted to support them because one this thing is just kick ass but i thought you guys would want to see it so first we have the chicken we have the short ribs and then we have the birch barrel right here which right now as you can see this looks like an open pit and everything and later when this stuff's ready it is going to be a whole bunch of lobster tails going on there. So it's going to be really nice. But this birch barrel from the guys out there, I've got myself one. Now, as you can see, you can use it. It comes, the tripods are completely adjustable. Heights, everything comes apart. Even down at the feet, you can adjust the feet. So it can be on uneven ground, even ground. Like the patio here, it could be out in the middle of the mountains, it could be at the beach any of that. Now the barrel is double walled. See? Gets warm, but you can still touch it and everything else doesn't get red hot. The tray inside has different tiers. You can go up and down to adjust your heat level. And then you have the lid here, which if you watch, let's say everybody's like, there's the grill. Turn, bring it back up, there's your grill. Just a twist of the lid, it sits right in there, you can keep your stuff, you can raise it up off the heat, you can put more charcoal, more wood, when you're done cooking, you got a fire pit, everybody can have a beer around. Now everything on this is fully adjustable. You got your gauges on top, all your vents, vents on the side. This thing, this now this is my second time using this thing. Put it together right after I got back from the keys. I've been sitting out here in a box. Put it together, set it up last weekend and just cooked some burgers and stuff on it. And just to try it out, break it in. I'm still kind of getting used to it because it is so different. And smoke in the eyes. There we go. But this thing is really cool. Um, I know a lot of people, especially during the, in the colder climates or even here in Florida, when I have a nice fire at night, you can do everything on this thing. Now what I'm looking forward to doing is hanging 
a big old leg of venison or something off of there over open fire. It'd be a good time. So just another addition to the patio here. Now you guys of course have loved the man cave videos and it's been spring cleaning. It's still a little bit of a menagerie. I haven't done and filled in and done a lot out here because in about a week and a half or so we have a company coming in to totally resurface that pool. Um, the pool hasn't been surfaced since oh basically the later 90s and it really needs it so this is going to get all drained out redone filled back up nice and shiny and be back together because we got tile falling apart it needs it and that's a common thing that happens you know it's just age wear and tear so we have a company coming in so i'm keeping everything kind of empty out here and going but i figured i'd take you guys i know some of you i know I have a thing for my flowers and all that. I got a lot of baby plumerias in the patio. The big ones outside. But the back area is still going good. We got our tomatoes and some jalapenos. Different orchids blo blooming here and there. But just my backyard. At night, I have a court, you know, this gets lit up. There's little torch lights and all kinds of things. Some orchids. But I know I haven't done a lot of videos for you guys because basically I've just been living and going and with all the crap that's going on out there honestly I'm having fun just being with my family living life and the thing is with the COVID I can now say I've had it twice had the antibodies last year tested for that had it didn't even know I had it well come what was it just before it was a few weeks just before the keys trip um i was feeling you know lethargic, you know all the symptoms kind of like a flu bug or something i thought it was bad allergies at first well this time i felt it gave it to, gave it to my wife gave it to my daughter my son never caught it he stayed home we of course were all quarantined and in the home um the wife basically had cold lost her taste of smell and uh taste and smell uh daughter she was over it in about a day and a half me for about a week couldn't get my ass off the couch. I just wanted to sleep and basically talking to anybody on the phone for five minutes winded me. And this is coming from a cigar whiskey drink, cigar smoking whiskey drinking motherfucker. But at the same time, I do, it's like, you know, flus, pneumonias, everything else. I have a buddy of mine that has been de dealt with it for two weeks in the hospital and everything, got the pneumonias, got all that, and he's still recouping from it. And the thing is, is the fact of what we've done to, you know, everyone and everything else around us, masks, whatever, but not twice. Okay. Basically for me in the end, it was the first time I had a flu in a couple decades. So, but otherwise enough of that bullshit. Let's look at more pretty things. Yeah. Lots of pineapples coming up this year. Just going here. But like I said, it's still spring cleaning, getting things together, just weather like this and just loving it. So, you know, that's it. I mean, I'm spending my time on the weekends drinking a nice cold drink, hanging out out here, grilling, chilling, just having a good time. Now, the things that are going on here in Florida, um, nothing new. We just went through Key West or the Keys. We stayed down there for over a week. Monroe County still had a mask mandate. So... Like anywhere here in Florida, you walk in the store, stores have their policies, put a mask on, whatever you do, you know, you can come out, take restaurants, it's the same thing. Wear a mask, go in through the door, sit down, eat, drink, do whatever you guys do, take the mask off. Um, if you walk to the bathroom, put a mask on. So you sit there and handle yourselves, wash your hands and everything and handle it. Guys, seriously, some of the stupidity in this stuff is killing me. But not the other stuff. But um, but no, everything, everybody was just life is open here in florida and it's pissing people off but everyone's coming here because life is fucking open and we're realizing we need to get on to our lives take our general precautions to protect ourselves and get the f on with our lives 
but no, we've spent a decade plus of certain cultures and this, oh, 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 we're, we're all victims. We all, we need the government to fuck off with all that shit. Live life. Come on, get out, have some fun. Get after it. S same stuff I've said forever in my videos. But otherwise, take care of your loved ones. Love yourselves, take care of yourselves. I'm gonna get back to cooking. As you can see, chicken, short ribs, lobster, weather like that. I'm rocking it. You should be too. Till the next video. I'll see you guys later.